It's been said. <laughs> I ain't even said it yet. <laughs> it's been said that when Bruce C. battles, many of us fail to comprehend his superior intellect. It's like Albert Einstein working in Sports Direct. <laughs> If Brucey e continues to put out his wonderful music, <laughs> I can 100% guarantee that he will bring peace to the Middle East. <laughs> and I can prove it. Brucey e is from the East, Midlands. <laughs> It sort of sounds the same. <laughs> but different. <laughs> On road, Brucey e is well known. Known for not taking any shit from his foes. This one time, Brucey e got jumped by five guys. He took them all out, casually got up, dusted himself off then helped an old lady cross the road. <laughs> it's true, isn't it? I've done my research. <laughs> Senior religious figures around the globe and the world's leading spiritual minds, including Ogmios, <laughs> have said, Brucey e is the second coming of Christ. <laughs> Personified. <laughs> Made in God's very own image. When Brucey e does a gig and comes off stage and goes to wipe his face with a towel, it actually leaves an imprint. <laughs> Time. Uh. <laughs> Yo, 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 can you hear me, yeah? That was amazing, that was amazing. <laughs> ah, Paul Cree. You're me. <laughs> like, you're me. You are me. You make skinny look sick. Don't let any gal say that you're scrawny. Man so sweet, God made his ears shaped like wagon wheels and his head like a strawberry. <laughs> no, no, it's a, it's a good thing though, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Yo, you're looking solid, bro. Like, you're a weapon. Paul from Surrey? Ha! More like Paul from Tekken. <laughs> I bet, yo, I bet when he gets up in the, yo, I bet when he gets up in the gym and this four starts repping, all the bigger brothers can feel their pores start sweating, because you're wham, fam. I swear to God, yo, you're hench, fam. <laughs> this guy don't even walk, he electric slides. <laughs> Lady, yo, all the girls get, he gets girl weak at the knees and the man then petrified. All the hottest girls I know think he's the sexiest guy. He's such a stud, I heard his Tinder profile's verified. <laughs> and your beard is one of the strongest I've seen. No, 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 no. Forget about the patches. It isn't long, but it's mean. He's given. Courage to the folk who struggle to grow hair. You gave hipsters inspiration to bond as a team. <laughs> and yeah, his hairline's, yeah, his hairline's receding, but it's cool because his hats have got style and he's got crooked teeth. And he's got crooked teeth, but there's a lot of character in a natural smile. And, <laughs> and, and with that outfit, I would have thought you had the fucking... Yeah. <laughs> Yo, and with that outfit, I would have thought that you had the cash of Al Pacino. And it's all from H&M. Could have fooled me, bro. Swear <laughs> down. Yeah, you've got bare cash. Yo, yeah, we've got bare cash. We can tell that you're wealthy. And you must eat your greens because you're looking bare healthy. From the moment I laid eyes on you, all you've done is impress me like, I'm your biggest fan. Can we get a quick selfie? Is that all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 I love you too. Bruce! 
You actually are the man. You are a silverback gorilla in a room full of chimps. <laughs> Since you entered Don't Flop, you single-handedly quadrupled the profits of AG Bar, the company that manufactured that well-known Scottish fizzy drink. <laughs> and speaking of which, you have a wonderful mixtape entitled I Am Brew. <laughs> Bruv. <laughs> With genius marketing concepts like that. <laughs> With genius marketing concepts like that, how can anyone compete with you? <laughs> On beat or in a battle, you are to rap what beef is the cattle. If you was a food, you'd be caviar. And I'd be like, tin mackerel. <laughs> Bruce, everything they say about you is really true. Little children want to read with you. <laughs> Grown men want to be like you. Women want to sleep with you. Gay men are confused what to do. <laughs> 2016, I absolutely guarantee We'll see Brucey to become the first ever dude on YouTube to get one squillion views. <laughs> Time. Yo, forget all this silliness though. Let's cut to the chase. When you accepted my friend request on Facebook, I got so gassed my mum got punched in the face. <laughs> no, she did. She did. Punched her in the face. Though. And when I told her why I did it, she jumped in the air screaming bingo. Dashed her mum. Yo. When I told her why I did it, she jumped in the air screaming bingo. Dashed her mum at the TV and kicked her cat out the window. Man's an intellectual poet. He uses vision to be lyrical. He doesn't have many shows or fans, but that just shows me, fam, you're an independent individual. Yo. He could make in-depth viral videos using wisdom that's invincible, but instead he makes videos in his kitchen sipping tea talking about his Adam's apple. Bro, that's both different and original. <laughs> you cannot test this guy. His movement's sick. He's had 600 views since 2012, but, but only because he keeps his videos on that exclusive tip. <laughs> but no, let's get back to the realness. Everything from your mouth that I'm hearing is peng. I swear it's the leng. I use your bars and recordings for my alarm in the morning and repeatedly hit snooze so I can hear them again. <laughs> you rap! You rap! What? Real rap! I love this guy! I'm not even joking, fam. I think you're the actual geezer. Your whole family deserve respect for producing such an immaculate creature. I'll go to your family house and knock on the door and greet your dad saying thanks for the pizza and go into your, decorate your mum's garden with some plants and a feature and go into your little sister's room and give her a bag full of sweets and then into your little bro's room, give him a tracksuit from Fila and let him smash me on, yo, and let him smash me on FIFA. I'll even break into, yo, yo, let me come with that again. Yo, listen, I'm not even lying, fam. I think this guy is the geezer. I'm not even lying, I think this man is the geezer. His whole family deserve respect for producing such an immaculate creature. I'll knock on your front door and say thanks to your dad and greet him with a pizza and I'll decorate your mum's garden with some plants and a feature. I'll go into your little sister's room and give her a bag full of sweets and then into your little brother's room with a tracksuit that's feeler and let him smash me on FIFA. I'll break into your nan's ass and I'll act like a cleaner. I'll even fill up her ice cube tray and put it back in the freezer. <laughs> I love you!
This is what happens every time Brucey e goes to the recording studio. When Bruce steps in the booth, tiles come loose in the studio roof. Pictures fall off the floor, shit falls on the floor, everything starts spinning in the room. Outside, lightning strikes. There's a glitch in the measure of time. Flash, bang, a DeLorean appears and out steps Martin McFly. <laughs> Red and white, Air Force Ones. Gets on his hoverboard, steps on and glides. Picks up pace, hits full speed like Hamilton driving a GTI. Finds a studio bus in the room. Sees Bruce Lee spit his bars in the booth. Pulls out a gun, licks two shots in the ceiling and says, pull out that goddamn shoe. <laughs> <laughs> and he ain't even got to the chorus. <laughs> Kim Jong Un gets on the phone. He's like, Yeah, what's happening, Bruce? <laughs> Kim Jong-un gets on the phone. He's like, yeah, what's happening, Bruce? Man's getting, <laughs> man's getting strapped. Need some of that firepower. Gonna link me up the iron brew. Bruce, he's like, nah, bruv. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, oh, fuck. <laughs> Kim Jong-un gets on the phone. He's like, yeah, what's happening, Bruce? Man's getting strapped. Need some of that firepower. Need some of that iron brew. <laughs> Bruce, he's like, nah. Uh, nah, Kim. You haven't an oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's just too attractive. <laughs> well, he's like, nah, Kim, you're having a laugh. I'm all about spitting them cold bars, but it's no cold war. I'm all about the warmth, and your heart's just way too cold. Dark. <laughs> <laughs> Kim Jong says, what? Bruv, that's a par. If you diss man, then we got a beef. Next day, Kim lands up the diss track. Fresh for Link Up TV. <laughs> Bruce E replies, I'm Brian Daly and Desimin 116. Kim Jong retreats to rethink his life and settle for a path of peace. Time. <laughs> oh. How amazing is this battle? I feel like, I feel like we've got a fellowship in this ring. No Frodo. I feel like I want to lips this guy right now. No homo. No. But on a real though, big up last clean tea for the top, it's sick. But have you seen this guy I'm battling? Come on, lads. You definitely should have sponsored him. I mean, come on, like, yo, this guy. <laughs> yo, you definitely should have sponsored him. Ah, fucking hell. No, no, I know what it is. I know what it is. I know what it is. He's so fresh, though. What are those crepes, though? Tesco? <laughs> yes, bro. <laughs> I want to rep those. But it just wouldn't suit me like him. He just seems to set swagger off. He's so stylish, he got booked to model for a next catalogue and turned it down because he was too busy shooting for a next catalogue. You're fresh, and a, you're fresh and a boss, a sex magnet. Gosh, I wish I could be you and I'm feeling vexed that I'm not. He's better than any striker that West Ham have got because you're literally a shooter that lets hammers off. <laughs> This guy's a star in the hood, hey. and you know that it's the truth. He's got the strap in the whip, and you know it's in the boot. If Charlie Sloth don't record his fire flowing, then he'll shoot. So tonight we might see a fire, wait, poet in the booth. <laughs> it ain't safe for the block. Paul Creed is firing shots. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. But on a real though, if you were a grime hitter, you'd make a fine spitter. I'm bitter, it's like anything I could do, he could do twice bigger. I bet you could pull a fine stripper with no money and a fried kipper tucked in between your, your fly zipper. Yo, <laughs> don't matter how sick you think your rhymes hit, cause this guy's bigger. He could make any guy, any MC in this room tonight look like a nice dinner. And you remind me of the streets though, but no doubt that you're quite fitter. You remind me of Mike Skinner if he was quite thinner and his eyes had a nice shimmer. <laughs> And he's got the most interesting life on Twitter. It's straight up shocking. The other day he tweeted, be right back. Just start to do a bit of nature watching. <laughs> I need to get a life next to you fam. I swear down, I'm screwing. While I'm in the studio cooking up tunes, he's in the garden with the bugs and the shrews and I know what I would rather be doing. <laughs> like, you're like a young Alan Titchmarsh. And you've, <laughs> <laughs> and you've got to respect him because the plants come first and you'll man them. You know where you want to go if you want to get some of them natural herbs, innit? No, time, 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 time. <laughs>